Hello viewers, so today I'm going to be um, comparing an OEM mount, detailed comparison between an OEM mount engine mount on the 7th generation Accord and an aftermarket um, version. So this video was basically um, inspired by a viewer who asked me to do this detailed comparison. So if you're living in a, in a, in a country where your opportunity to buy used parts and uh, some some part sellers may want to get get the better side of the deal by um, selling you a used aftermarket product which doesn't really function as well as OEM products so that's really the inspiration behind this I had put in a used um, yeah, so I had got this aftermarket product. So the one on the right is the aftermarket. The one on the left is the OEM. I had put this in, and yes, as you would see from a previous video that I did, I had to swap it out for an OEM because of the excessive vibrations I was having. So I'll put the link of the video um, here on the screen if you want to see that. So first thing you're going to look out for. So this is the OEM, right? Now this letter in here. You can see the attention to detail fr4a sorry it's upside down um, it doesn't really matter if I well yeah so good attention to detail now let's see the aftermarket so you can see the aftermarket is not as bold and as pronounced as as the one on the OEM so that's usually the first giveaway another shot of the OEM right that's thicker tighter not as um, big as the aftermarket so that's the first thing second thing is well because this mount is broken right so you can see the cracks there because this is broken it's leaking oil so your OEM or good aftermarket parts would usually have an oil chamber and that's to help dampen vibrations so usually if you shake this I think you can you may manage to hear the oil squishing around sometimes I'm not sure if you if you hear that but anyway if you pull this against your ear it's pretty obvious now a lot of aftermarket parts won't have any oil chamber it's simply a solid mount there's nothing in this to indicate that it has any oil or oil for increased damp dampening in it one other test you could quickly do is so if you set the mount on its on its side sorry about that now the front of the mount right so this part faces the vehicle the front of the vehicle if you depress so you can see this place it goes in right it's so you're able to push this in and that's really the anterior part of the oil chamber so this is rubber so one thing I should say if you're trying to buy out a part and you're trying to do this test so take it easy sometimes if it's a used OEM it might be old and the rubber is weak and it might just spring a leak from from here because some of these parts will also leak from here when they're old so and if you're trying to buy one and and you can see that here is already so um, weak and you can see some wetness like you have on this one simply don't buy it because it's already is um it will it will it will spring a leak soon now for this one you can see this is almost solid no movement at all right it's almost solid no movement at all so that's another test you can do one other thing you can do is to look at the underside of the mounts. So, some um, poor uh, aftermarket parts won't even have this vacuum pot, right? Because this, you can see this is leaking more oil. Um, so, so some won't even have that vacuum pot, right? They won't even have that. And um, that's critical because this mount is computer controlled. So it works with vacuum. Um, for increased dampening of of um, vibrations so that's another thing to look out for and the last thing is the the weight right 
this doesn't this doesn't um, it doesn't feel as heavy and I have a digital scale to show you the weight difference between the two so one thing I usually do when I'm buying used parts is I go with the old one right so everything has to check out so here with the digital scale I'll turn that on um, right so this is in grams first on goes the aftermarket let's see what this would weigh so aftermarket weighs um, 1.6 kg or 1660 grams now let's see the OEM definitely feels heavier right so you can see OEM weighs 2.2 kg while the aftermarket is 1.6 so that's just something to keep in mind one other thing but it may not be in all um, aftermarkets you can see there's a ball chair there's a ball chair on the OEM it's flat it's, there's almost no bulge so just another thing to take into account thank you very much i hope you found this video helpful um, please like subscribe thanks cheers